everyone, and welcome back to The Infected. I'm going to keep this off so we don't have that constantly going. Um, I have done a little work on the base. As you can see, it's snowing or has snowed. The lake has been frozen. It's hard. These days, I kind of wish you could extend the days as they go out further. Uh, days per year type thing. But I've done some work on the woodworking area because it was driving me crazy on how... Eh, it was but this is the new area now and as you can see I now have a ramp to back the truck into I've got a deer <laughs> funny story I was out chopping wood over there as you can see a lot of trees have been cut down but I was out there chopping some stuff and backed up and I ran over the deer I wasn't going very fast so apparently they can't take a hit but yeah so that's been done I've extended this out one more back this way so I had to do the whole log thing uh, and get that going. All right, where are you at, buddy? That's right. Give me that loot. What do you got? All right. Yeah. Um, but now I have these backed up and full uh, for these saw benches. And I have my planks over here. These are actually stacked three this way and I think like four this way. So they're kind of all on top of each other. As you can see with the whole little twitching of the diagrams and stuff this one kind of out of place but i just needed one extra one and i got my sticks over here full so yeah this is the new woodworking area i wanted to make this roof kind of an incline going all the way up like a big a shape but i figured this way once i get enough power i can have lights here maybe right there uh right there and right there and do that on these all three of these beams so i have a total of nine lights uh when i do why is that off? Uh, when I can have the power, when I have enough of it. So, yeah, that's kind of the idea with that. So now it's a lot bigger. Um, we're going to have to get this cleared out because I desperately, desperately need to get more power going. I just, before I went to bed, I realized my refrigerator is off or was off. The liver has literally six minutes before it expires. So I need to keep an eye on it. I don't have enough power for a lot of this stuff. So we're gonna turn the oil rig back on and it's unfortunately one o'clock because my day got all messed up. These are just about full. I need to get these emptied out. I need, we need to get biofuel and we need to go to our area so that we can, well, really get these going, get them filled back up and I can get more wind turbines. I do not like the solar panels and the battery aspect. I think I'd rather have the wind turbines even though yeah, they do cost a ton of aluminum. Oh. Uh, okay, I got some water. Uh, even though they cost a lot of aluminum, it's a consistent power even throughout the night. So I guess maybe if I had like 15 or 20 batteries saved, that could work. But I've only got the two, and it's not enough overnight. But anyways, let's go ahead. Why is that so bright? Oh, my goodness. We're going to get an empty container. We're going to get a rock container. And we're going to try to get as much stuff emptied out as we can with these iron ones before they fill up. I don't know what happens when they fill up. But let's go ahead and at least grab all the rocks by a little time. Thank you, man. Fill it up. All right. There's that one. All right. And here's that one. Sweet. So we get this back in. Now, with that last video, um, there were a couple of thumbs downs for the whole building aspect. So I've got a little work to do with that. I think it'd be better if I had an idea planned in my head first before I tried to do it as I went. So I will work on that next time. But sometimes things just kind of pop in your head like, oh, yeah, that would be much better. And this actually took about three in games to do. And that would have been a lot of recording uh, with editing and so forth. And I really am trying to keep these uploads consistent. DC Sunshine, thank you, or DC Sunshine 9, thank you for letting me know, hey, you know what, if you move the table, the butcher table, the other way, I won't have to get put into the wall as I butcher them. So I'm not going to turn it around, I'm going to keep it maybe over here, so that I like the idea of placing the deer down and seeing it kind of like this, and then I can kind of flip over and have all this room over here, but, ugh. all right, I thought these were all empty, I, ugh. okay, lots more biofuel, so I need to clear this deer out and 
I still got clay. Okay, I need to empty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got to empty everything. This is going to be... All right, I can't place any more, so that's kind of where that scenario was. Let's go ahead and just make another stick holder real quick, or a plank holder. And we're going to... Is that a log in there? Oh, for Pete's sake. All right, well... All right, so two more sticks. Now we're going to put this kind of on how I had these things stacked. All right, so now I got rid of that and get rid of the rope. So I need to get rid of the clay, nails, the oil can. But yeah, I like that idea. I was considering of just walling everything up in the woodworking area. Um, okay, so, oh, 195 damage. <sighs> All right, I'm going to have to repair that, too. Oh, stamina. Okay, you know what? i got to keep it on. I <laughs> Oh, 50 stamina. That's why. All right, let's go ahead and eat one of those just to get that up and going. I can't. Oh, no. Oh, you almost did it to me again, stamina. You almost did it. But, yeah, as you can see, my wall... Here, we'll go ahead and turn the light on. Is... I turned... Uh, empty. It's pretty much empty and pathetic and sad, and I need iron really bad. But I've got fragments in here. More fragments. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff put away real quick. Uh, stuff is going to be... All the way down here. Alright, arrows. Cans. I can hang on to that. That's fine. And another stone. I'm just going to throw that in there for now. The can, I'll hang on to that. Because I think that's over in the kitchen area. I can drop that off. Okay, so I got that. I need biofuel. I needed 12. No, 16, because I have the copper. Yeah, so 16. So 5, 10, 15. 16 biofuel. Oh, I'm going to need... Oh, no, I need more stone container. Oh, no, you know what? I've got enough of these empty container, these crates. Why am I picking up stones? I don't know. Okay, let's go butcher. <laughs> so much to do, so much to do. Not a lot of time to do it. All right, you know what? Canned foods. We're gonna actually just going to... To a point, I'm going to get rid of this dry stuff. All right, we're just going to keep that here. And there's more, so we're going to just stack it. Hmm. For some reason, it looks bigger, but yeah. Okay, empty. Going outside. All right. Taking all. Empty. Going outside. And empty. Once again. Going outside. All right. Yep. Say it with me. Empty. Going outside. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this into the biofuel. I don't think I have enough, so we're going to grab all that. And take these. Sweet. All right. So this should be enough for all of my containers, rocks, all the ores. This. Okay. I got to butcher you first. I should have enough room for everything. And I do. Great. Let's go ahead. Oh, I got to wash my hands. Not a problem. I can do that with this. And we are going to get our liver put inside here. And two for that. Okay, so... Okay, go ahead and turn the lights off. Refrigerator and oil still have power. Okay. Oh, why am I picking up stones? Alright, I still have leather on me. Okay, so let's get in the truck. Alright. It's really weird. You cannot pick up the logs... When you have an animal in your truck. So you have to get the animal first. And then you can pick up the stuff from the back. Alright, so that's like two more. Alright, so that one's full. It looks like it can... No, okay.
Okay, that's that. Just for now, we're going to just put all these off to the side. And I'll have to make another log holder. Or a stick holder, maybe some firewood and sticks or something. Alright, now as you can see, I've got some gas, but not really a lot. So we're going to keep that on and running. Okay, so that was that. So let's go ahead and move our butcher's table. Okay, that needs to be turned around the other way. Just because I, I like it when you place the deer down, you see its feet, and then you go behind it to skin it. Nope, come on. Nope. Yeah. Yep. E. Oh. Right click. See, I mean, that just looks. Oh, I gotta. Oh, you know what? Whatever. We're still, we got stuff to do. It's gonna start snowing. And hurry up and rotate. Oh, maybe too close. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Mm, and okay. I don't know if that's going to be enough, so we're just going to bring one more. And we'll put it this way. Okay, and I can kind of close it. I'm going to grab a gas, just in case. And gas. Okay, so... Right, the exact perfect amount. All right, and onwards we go. Now, before we really get going, we need some music in this ve in this vehicle. We need a radio going. So, real quick, let's check the radio to see what we got going on. All right, no, no. Oh, that's just bad. All right, that'll work. So, onwards we go. We got some good tunes going on. We got the truck going. I don't have any food with me and very little water. All right, it's okay, though. All right, not a problem. I got this. I can do this. Okay, maybe not that way. Okay, you know what? That'll work. I'm just going to grab this because there's only one down here. Kick our light on. Take all. And our big thing, like I said, I want to make another wind turbine. I think I need iron to do so. I probably should have been smelting some iron, but that's okay. Yep, okay, that's on and running. So we're going to grab this. Put it back, turn off our light. All right, so onwards we go. We're gonna hit the cobalt next and then the beautiful aluminum. I kinda wanna make a third, all right. I forgot about that, which, all right. I totally forgot about, or, or considering doing another third aluminum, but I kinda wanna get another, a third iron first as we work towards the oil drill, I, I guess you could call it. And speeding right along, speeding right along. 
listening to the song and speeding right along. So, we are now at the Cobalt. Really wish I could see behind me. All right, that'll work. And we'll put down the door. I probably will need lead as well. Wait, no, this is Cobalt, that other one's copper, that's right. And overnight, we are really gonna have to. All right, so that'd be three, four. Keep an eye on the power, but get a lot of these rocks smelted. Get those iron. Oh, I forgot to repair that thing. The spikes. All right, can I just put it up here somewhere? That'll work. Okay. Light off, music on, onwards we go. This is the big one. This is the aluminum. Oh, I don't know why I tried to do that. Oh, did you see that though? I didn't hit it. Came close. And I want to eat some of those stews before I uh, butcher the boar. I am trying to keep an eye out as well for other animals. Because then I could store the bacon in the refrigerator. At some point, I mean, I can see myself literally having, like, five refrigerators. I have no idea what that happened was. There wasn't anything on the road. Nothing in front of me. I really have to kind of guess. All right, so over here more. light. Watch out for scorpions. Now we're going to do this. Right, so that one's empty. Alright. Not so doing so great with the aluminum. But I think this is the one that I came in just to grab aluminum. Unfortunately, because this isn't level, it's going to look a little weird. Alright, so now we have everything we need, including a ton of stones. So we're going to burn up the stones. Hopefully get into another wind turbine, and that should help a little more with our power. Eventually, I'm going to need like two or three wind turbines. You know what? That's fine. Let's put you right there. Oh, wait. I forgot to turn off my light. And that is everything. So we now have all of our resources. The extractors are back up and running. And I got to think about the next big project. Well, I know the next big project. That's going to take a while, though. Especially with the 20 electrical components. I don't know. Maybe at some point we can take the truck around with all these containers and hit up some more towns. I kind of want bears and stuff to be around, though. It doesn't seem like too much of a threat without having any animals. Um, I don't know. I think I stated this in a previous video. But right now, the animal hit points and stuff are still at default uh, there really aren't any bears or anything out at the moment but I'm gonna have to change it every video but that's all right I will do that and hopefully the developer sees that it doesn't get saved all right, is that the way I need to go no
But really, really, really... I mean, this car's got some speakers now. It's got some bass. Now, as for the garage... Oh, that was it back there. As for the garage itself, I'm considering of putting it behind the kitchen. Oh wait, those were logs. How are those logs? Because right uh, to the right of me, that hill is really steep, but behind the kitchen... Okay, how's a cart going to stop me from... Is this good? Not really. All right, a little more. All right, and that and that. We'll go ahead and turn our lights on. All right, so we got one container. That's oh, gonna be beautiful, smelting all this stuff down. I hate to say it though, I think I'm gonna need more lead. I do believe lead was required for that, hmm means into the caves. Now what I can do for the scorpions, because you can't increase their health points, unfortunately. All right, cobalt. I need to move those tables, though. They're actually kind of in a way. Uh, just increase the damage that they do. Yeah, see, exactly 10. All right, we're gonna get this up and running. Now we got that. That does have, so we need to get this up and going. And what is that? It's copper. All right, so now we have all the aluminum smelting. Now, what did I have? I had biofuel. And the cans. All right, so we need gas. Gotta put that back. Oh, I almost need a third freaking brick forge. Oh my gosh, loads of stone. Yeah, we got some serious burning to do. So while we're doing that, let's see. Oh no, there's still one more. Okay, that one's empty. Ah yeah, we'll put it over here. Let's go repair. I need to repair those spikes before they end up breaking. So I need this. It's going to bring 10. And our repair hammer. All right, six. So, sweet. All right, so there's that. There's more biofuel to break down. Yeah, I kind of have to rearrange this a little bit. I don't know why I'm keeping the door open, though. Oh, no! Okay, well... Ow! Yeah, apparently everything got frozen, so that's fine. I'm going to take these plant beds once the water's out and about. Um, place them in here so that we can have melons growing in here. And more onions, because you only get one onion per, so I'd like to have more onions. And over here... I don't know, I still have an empty plant bed, but... Now we've got some plant beds to work with. Unfortunately, this died out. I couldn't figure that out. I was too busy working on the wood storage area or the wood cutting area. So that's not good. Let's go get the aluminum. Let's get all that for the next wind turbine. Uh, maybe copper. Oh. 
Because I didn't grab it. Okay. Alright, so we got this, we got the metal fragments now. So yeah, a lot of burning throughout the night. More stones. Here, let's see how many stones we can put in here just to kind of put everything together. And we'll get rid of this one. Alright, so that's done. I don't even use these carts anymore. To be honest, now that I got the truck, I mean, that thing holds so much more logs than uh, the cart itself. Sweet! Okay, and there's that. We got all that going. Alright, so, yeah, that's fine. We'll keep it on. Let's go ahead and get our truck parked. Out of the way. Okay, the sun is setting. It's 9 p.m. All right, water. Oh, that's right. I got food on me, too. We're going to go ahead. If I can get in the door. Eat some of that. Don't really need anything cooked or anything at the moment. Keep him there. Okay, it is after hours, so I'm going to start losing power real quick. Alright, loads of cobalt. Alright, so now this is all going to be copper. Yep, I do need lead. And I don't have it. Alright, so we are going to turn that off, open this door, grab this container, close the door, get this container. I cannot have that stuff spoiling. So we're going to have to turn off the oil for now. It's so harsh. I mean, you don't even... The two batteries with the panels... I mean, it could be good for lights, but for your major appliances and stuff, you really kind of want to have a steady power source.
All right, and welcome back, everyone. So I kind of ran out of water, and I didn't have a choice. I had to come back. And it was a little shameful, but I was able to grab a lot. So I got a lot of lead ore now. So we're going to go ahead and get these cycled out real quick. Then we're going to get our water filter contained. And then we're going to go hurry up and get... All right, some more fragments. The solar pan... Or not solar panels. Wind turbines going. So I do need... I'm just going to grab 10. That's 4, 8, 9, and 10. All right, and I believe I needed iron as well for these. Yeah, so four. So I'm going to need eight. I'm just going to go ahead and grab ten. Sweet. Okay, so now that those are going, let's go turn on our water pump real quick so I can fill these. i got plenty of water. Yep. Go and get our stamina up. Up to the 50 mark. Ugh. All right. Close the door. Oh, I love that water. That sink is amazing. Alright, turn that back off. Keep the refrigerator on. Let's go ahead and eat one of these meat stews. And I can make some more because I have a ton of eggs as well. Alright, and... The wind turbines... Uh, make sure they're facing the right way. Should be this. And we got one, two. One right there. And one right there. I want to get two more going at least. Uh, and thank you, Nathan, for letting me know that in the northern hemisphere, the solar panels need to be facing south. So what we can do is do that, put that there for now. Look at that, it's almost facing south. All right, so now we got them facing true south. All right, sweet. Now I got 10 of those. Am I going to be able to carry those? Probably not, but that's fine. We get rid of a few of them. Okay. So now it's just running over there. I want to keep that oil thing going at all times. The oil extractor. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so just 20 and 8 cobalt. Oh, gosh. I don't have anything else on me. All right, so there's our... No, I just... Okay. Mm. Sweet. Paranoid now. I keep thinking I see infected everywhere. All right, eight cobalt, and then we have a consistent 40 more power. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. Considering the fact that you don't need electrical components for these things really helps out. So now we've got an additional 40 power. Yeah, I just... I said the batteries could be good for lightings. Now how? i have to figure about that later. Let's see what our in and out is now. So total power is 180, which would be the nine wind turbines. Excellent. Now I can keep this thing on at night and still have power and use my lights at night, and I won't draw too much of that. So, that's finally been taken care of. We don't have to worry about our food spoiling. There you go, buddy. 
And what'd you give me? Oh, I just don't need any more of that. Nice. All right. Unfortunately, this is a scenario, so we're going to have to just delete all this. We're going to get our some of our steel back. It costs two steel for one of these, so I'm going to get at least four of them, which will help. Can I move the plant beds? I cannot while they're frozen. Okay. I mean, that does look kind of cool, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, yeah, well, that's a shame. That's a big shame. I was really hoping to try to do something a little different. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the episode. I'm going to stay here and smelt everything down, and next episode we'll come back through, figure out what we're going to need. Um, I'll, I'll have to worry you figure about that next time. But if you did know, enjoy the episode, go ahead and give it a big old fat thumbs up. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have not, hit that subscribe button down below for more content. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.